okay today uh, we shall be making the today we shall be doing the correlation coefficient correlation coefficient right so today we shall be the correlation coefficient right and that is uh, Pearson 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 correlation coefficient that we shall be we uh, we shall be developing using our software SPSS yeah uh, so so uh, we shall we shall be developing the Pearson correlation coefficient using SPSS and here we have uh, three variables three variables we have such as uh, investment then uh, second variable is uh, consumption consumpa uh, just on one minute second variable is uh, consumption and the third variable we have is savings savings so we have three variable investment consumption and savings right here you can see three variables now the question is that whether these three variables are correlated or not that we want to check so we want to check we want to check whether these three variables are correlated or not that we want to check okay so first uh, I insert data of these three variable in the SPSS okay so then I start to here you can see uh, this one here we can insert data and you can see this one is the SPSS software and you can see here data view variable view right I click here I click here the whole thing is changing I click here it comes data view I click here it becomes variable view okay so uh, so what I do first click in the variable view I click here okay after click clicking I write all the names of our three variables okay first variable is investment and our second variable is uh, consumption that is our second variable and uh, our third variable is savings right so we have three variables now whether these three variables are correlated or not that we shall be checking today okay now I, I, I insert all data so I click here I click in the data view to insert the data okay so I start to in I start to insert data one by one so 14 23 21 25 32 then 34 20 25 so 
so there are the it is uh, sample size is eight right Sa sample size is eight second one is uh, 40 45 34 55 25 66 25 and 45 so that is our second variable now uh, my third variable is savings 40 45 56 34 65 then 34 45 35 okay so so th these are my variables right and i have inserted data uh, now now my target uh, now, uh, now my target is to find out these three variables are correlated or not that we want to check okay okay and uh, what is our hypothesis right I talk about hypothesis now uh, so the hypothesis in Pearson correlation coefficient what is the hypothesis here in the Pearson correlation coefficient the hypothesis is there is no correlation between two variable that is the null hypothesis that is the null hypothesis there is no correlation between the two variable so here I'm writing null null hypothesis there is no correlation between two two variables right that is no correlation right that is now and what is alternative there is correlation between two variables right so one is null hypothesis and the second one is alternative hypothesis okay now we want to check whether they are correlated or not okay that uh, that we, uh, we shall be doing now okay before doing I, I I just check one more thing that uh, uh, that uh, okay just I check one more thing I, I make it double confirm confirm so yeah okay okay the, uh, so what is the guideline what is the guideline the guideline is if the p value or signi significance value if the p value or significance value is less than 5% less than five percent less than five percent uh, then we can reject null hypothesis and accept alternative hypothesis 
that is the guideline so what is the guideline if the p value uh, if the p value uh, is less than 5% then we can reject null hypothesis and accept alternative hypothesis but if the p value is more than 5% we normally do not reject now hypothesis rather we accept rather we accept now hypothesis so that is the actually guideline right that is the actual guidelines of the p value okay so now uh, now i can proceed uh, so now now uh, i can proceed further for correlation and anal analysis between these three variables